feel like you just lose yourself so easily. It just, it's like I just forget how to live. You want to eat more and more. And then when I'm not eating, I'll just like sleep. And it's like, how did it get to this place again? I think about all of my, all of my followers and <laughs> people that I care so much about. And that just makes me <laughs> probably run to the food more because I have so much fear and anxiety that I feel like I'm disappointing everybody. My favorite people, my warriors. If this is your first time watching, my name's Kelly, I'm 23, and I started this My Recovery Diary to basically document how my eating disorder recovery is going, and every single week I update you guys on how I'm doing, what exactly I'm doing in recovery, and this is a video that I think is most important. And my eyes are a little bit red because I was just crying. <laughs> I've been feeling a lot of pressure to keep it positive, like yeah, you can kill recovery and do this and do this, to fight your food fears and anxiety, but that's that's not the majority of recovery at least for me and I want you to know that recovery is your own and it's gonna be different than everyone else's and mine is very difficult I feel very guilty for almost dragging you guys along with me when I'm suffering and I know you guys say it really helps to see that it's not all sunshine and rainbows and someone is not afraid to be vulnerable and sad about it. But my whole goal is to inspire you and show you that recovery is possible. But I need to be genuine and authentic. And if I'm really documenting my recovery, this is where I'm at right now. It's crazy because just seven days ago, I was on cloud nine and doing so great, not depending on food for comfort, and really getting out there and living my life. I wasn't worried about what I was eating, what I was eating and how I looked. And then seven days later here, I'm crumbling on the floor crying and just feeling like a failure. And that's not true. And I really know that. I know I'm not a failure. We are never failures for falling into our behaviors. And I've been feeling so much anxiety about all these new projects that I have coming up for you guys and things I've been doing for social media. And that's not even my full-time job and then my full-time job as an academic researcher is very stressful and then just trying to maintain a healthy relationship with my body and food I just feel like I've been falling apart I know that's so common for anyone that has an eating disorder that eating disorder and your complicated convoluted relationship with food in your body is a freaking full-time job and it's killer and it's more stressful than any workload on the face of the earth because inside there's so much self-hate and self-loathing that's been built up over time and even though in recovery every day i choose to say hey i love you i love you kill you're doing great don't worry i'm proud of you for surviving those thoughts still come in that scream at you saying and you're a failure, you suck for binging. What's wrong with you? Why do you keep doing this? So those thoughts have been consuming me more than my newer self and recovery mind thoughts. And that is what has caused me to spiral back inward to hiding away and using food to cope with my feelings. And basically, I just feel like I've been eating and I've been sleeping. To me, just like my first entry for this recovery diary, food really acts as a drug for me. I just want more and more and more and the second that I'm not as full, I just have to fill my emotional tank again. I think I've just been much too hard on myself and this is the lesson that I want to teach you in your recovery is when you are spiraling into these behaviors that you're so worried about falling into, it's okay. You are no less amazing for going back to behaviors that you've used to cope with everything your whole life. There's nothing wrong with you. In fact, it only makes sense to have relapses. It's not encouraged, but it shouldn't be shamed. There's no guilt. That's not what recovery is about. And on Instagram today, I announced two months of recovery, and this is really great that this is happening, that I'm explaining this, is that this two months of recovery has not meant that I've not used food for comfort. This does not mean that I've been perfect. That does not mean that I'm not worried about food or my body. It does not mean that I haven't done any of those things that I used to do. My mindset is different. I try to love myself every day. I try to say, hey, are you falling into food right now? Are you depending on it too? Are you eating to cope with feelings you don't want to deal with? Are you happy? 
having anxiety and numbing yourself with food, at least I ask myself those things. And at least I say, I feel sorry for you right now, Kelly, instead of saying, what is wrong with you? I don't get as angry with myself, but I do get frustrated with the situation. And I feel like when we start to pursue recovery, we put way too much on our plate and we expect ourselves to do so well. And who says we're not doing well by just trying to be in recovery? I think that's amazing. I think that's everything. And I wish that I could be nicer to myself, but this is just where I'm at right now. It's okay to fall apart. It's okay to cry. It's okay to relapse. It's okay to fall into your behaviors because it's just a part of your journey. There's no encouragement or permission per se for, you know, just going in and doing the things you used to do. But the most important part to me, my personal recovery, this does not have to be you. I just want to be nice to myself. I just want to tell myself that I deserve a better life and a better relationship with food in my body. And I want to figure out healthier ways to cope that aren't food. And sometimes I just don't have the strength or the energy to go out and try something else. And that, it's okay. To me, I'm no expert, clearly not the queen of recovery, but I'm I'm killing it. <laughs> it's so hard. It's so hard for me to be nice to myself. <laughs> I keep putting pressure on myself to be this really positive, strong person for you guys. So I need to remember that this is the type of stuff that I really want you guys to see. I want you to know you are not alone. I'm with you in these moments and it's good to cry. I haven't cried in a while. That's also probably why I'm turning to food is I'm not able to feel the full force of all these feelings that I have. And if I did, I probably wouldn't use food to coat all these feelings and numb them down and try to avoid them. So that's something I've learned right now just by speaking with you. So thank you so much for watching. I love you guys so much. You are a warrior for surviving in your life every day. Even if you haven't truly chosen to pursue recovery, it doesn't mean you're not trying. It doesn't mean that you're not amazing. Just remember that, please, because I need to remember that. We are warriors together. Warriors are we. Like, let's truly believe that. It takes a hell of a lot of a strength to survive the stuff that we go through. And the hardest part is that it's it's just this huge manifestation in our brains. Don't ever diminish your struggle. Don't ever say that you should just get over this, that you should be stronger or better. No, this stuff is killer. And be more understanding towards that struggle, Kelly. I'm, I'm saying that to me. I love you guys so much. I really hope this video helped. Please give it a thumbs up if it helped at all, if you liked it, just so I know. Um, please drop a comment below if you have anything to say. Please share your story. I love hearing from you. And please subscribe for more teary-eyed uh, real talk videos from me. Any updates for when I upload a video about binge eating, your relationship with food and your body, eating fears, food fears, weight gain fears, and of course, this recovery diary series. So click that little bell for the notifications. Turn I'm on. I feel a lot better. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. And you guys keep me going. <sighs> I will see you in the next video. Bye.